up everyone, Trey Man one here, and welcome to another Pokemon the Series XY Anime Review. And this episode, guys, oh my goodness, it was so sad, the frothy backstory. And it was so, oh my gosh, this episode was amazing. Everybody thought it was going to be filler, but no, no filler, filler episodes, oh my gosh. It was so amazing, guys. Oh, my goodness. The episode starts out with a battle almost, like, well, after a little while. But, yes, guys, this episode starts out with Ash and the gang ar arriving in Anastar City, ready for the next battle. And, like, well, actually, it starts out with Olympia. And, like, she sees something that happens that she knows is going to happen in the future. But, like, yeah, let's skip that part. Ash and the gang are coming down, and there's this lady, this gym lady, you know, the little gym people that they be having in the gyms, who you battled before the, um, the, um, leader. That's basically what Ash just did. This lady, I guess, read Ash's mind or something and saw something bad in it. So she she just took out Sableye and just started attacking him. Then Ash caught Pikachu, and was like, oh my gosh, and she had, um, I don't know the name of the Pokemon, but... It's the floating one from Best Wishes. I remember that. So, yeah, she had one of those, too. <laughs> one of those. Uh, it's, no, jokes aside. Jokes aside. Come on. All right, so. <laughs> she, <laughs> like, like, and the Ash called Frogadier. They were just battling hard, and they just tore the Pokemon up. Like, Frogadier with the aerial lace. I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, oh, this episode was just so amazing, guys. And, like. Olympia actually, like, she tried to send out more Pokemon to fight, but Olympia took the Pokeball away from her. Like, you should, did I tell you to stop battling people like that? They just got to the city. There's no way to welcome them. So Olympia reads Frogadier's mind after a little while after they talk, because she was talking about how strong Frogadier was. So when she reads Frogadier's mind, she, like, she just sees something amazing. Like, it was so crazy. Like, we just saw the water coming around, and... We just see Mega Greninja, well, Ash Greninja. And, like, they were talking about, oh, yeah, Professor Sycamore was there. They met Professor Sycamore at the uh, at the little sundown in Star City. I forgot that. How could I forget that? So maybe we might just see Ash Greninja in the next episode because he, because Frogadier saved the, until sundown, which I'll get to later. But, like, maybe that was referencing when Ash and Frogadier's connection got so strong with the sundown, it released the new form. But we don't know yet, guys. But let's not go that far. So, like, after she sees this, she's like, oh, my gosh. Her frog right here and stuff. And, like, she's like, she, like they'll say they, she saw a new form. And it was like, mega evolution. So, they go to the gym. And this is where they get the sad backstory of frog right there. Finally. Everyone's getting their backstory revealed. First, it, it looks like we're going in order, guys. We got Bunnaby's backstory revealed. Ash met Clement in the first episode. Then in the next episode, he got Froakie, so they waited a little episodes. Now we get Frogadier's backstory. What's next? Hint, hint. The backstory of the summer camp? It's a trend, guys. Maybe it's a trend. We don't know. Oh, snap. This is going to be amazing, though. But, like, oh, my gosh. The backstory was so amazing, guys. We even saw Fro Froakie in this egg. And, like, Froakie, you, like, was it like the other Froakies? Like, like I thought Froakies all acted like just like like ash froakie basically but no all the froakies were so happy and dancing and, and had these uh little things and like fro and ash froakie would just train train working working hard to be successful he just wanted to get stronger he wanted to have a good bond with his trainer so like every like we also saw what happened when the froakie like, the other Froakies wanted to play with him, I guess, and Froakie was like, no, no, I don't want to play. Leave me alone. So the other Fro the little Froakies all ganged up on, on our little Froakie and just beat him up badly. And it was so sad. And, like, I wish we got to see Garchomp and Froakie interacting a little bit because that would be pretty cool to see their backstory. But, like, we also see the starter choice. And we see Serena's Finnegan, <coughs> Asher's Froakie, and Kumas Chessman all waiting to be chosen. <laughs> I'm joking. But no, that'd be crazy if it was. But we actually see Ash's Froakie. And he gets chosen as a starter. And, like, he battles with his trainer, but he leaves the trainers because he thinks it's weak. So, like, it would be so cool how Froakie would sit that chill in the um, lab and the trainers would come back. Have you seen Froakie? And he was like, no, I haven't seen him. But, like, dang, Froakie is just such a 
bad backstory. It was so sad. And then they talk about when they met Ash, and Ash actually took care of Froakie. Like, it was something different with Ash than the other trainers, and I see that. See? Like, Ash makes connections with his Pokemon guys. But, like, oh my gosh, next week's episode is the battle. The battle, guys. So, who knows? And I actually think Professor Sycamore might have something to do with X, Y, and Z because, you know, in the trailers, we're just getting Mega Garchomp. So, we'll got to wait and see, guys. But that's all for today. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. How can I forget the Sundown fight? The fight over the Sundown. The main part of this story. So, Team Rocket tried to take the Sundown so they can Mega Evolve, I guess. And Ash's Froakie just go ham and, like... No, it was actually... Froakie goes ham, but... It's Olympia who goes for real, for real. Like, her Mew Sticks did this crazy move, five-second move. And I think that's what was used in the trailer for next week's episode, which I'm going to make a discussion on, guys. But it was so crazy how it was, like, five. And then, like, went, like it was like she predicted the right time to hit them, and it was like, bam. And they blasted off, and the sundial was saved. But we'll see you next week if Frog and Eerie evolves. Trade Man 1. Peace out.